never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one. You can see the sun is shining this Monday morning, but don't let that fool you. It is 40 degrees and a little bit chilly out there. It's eclipse day. It's eclipse day. Uh, that's happening at like 12:30 Utah time today. Um, and the sun feels a little weird. I don't know how to explain it. It just seems a little intense today. But um, we're headed to Desert Industries thrift stores to see what we can thrift for a profit. We are resellers, so that's what we're doing here today. Um, and then we're going to go to Goodwill and another Desert Industries thrift store. We are going to slow our roll because last week I'm still tired. We got like 150 or, or 170. I don't even know. So many items. I didn't items. even count them. It's insane. So we're going to try to be super particular this week. Um, because last week was a big heavy thrifting week, but no promises because when you find good stuff, you gotta buy it. Should I be the first in line? We're 10 <laughs> minutes scared. early today. Never. <laughs> We're never happens. this early. Can we go get breakfast? No, because then we'll be 10 minutes late. <laughs> Zeb's first in line, but I'm not gonna butt, so I'm gonna get in the back. So he's gonna get in way before me. <laughs> they let us in like 30 seconds early. I'm not sad about that because it's a little chilly. I went and stood in line and I'm gonna be the first one in the yard today. Gotta walk fast though or else I won't be the first one in. Here's some vintage melamine. I think it's really cool. I'm gonna look it up and see if it's worth anything, but I'm putting my cart first. All right, let's see if there's any platters. I know I'm always buying some. This is interesting. I've never seen anything like this. Well, it's got point marks. And it's 971V. A little bit of chip there, but that's really cool. Mid-century modern, gonna grab it. I've never seen this Pampered Chef stoneware plate. I wonder if it's for like a smaller pizza or if it like in a toaster oven. So I just got the coolest mirror. I'll show it to you in a minute, but I gotta do some more shopping first. It was, the mirror was only $15. This is five. That's a pretty big finial though. What is this? Is that actually open? Oh, it does. It's like a little cabinet. Does it hang on the wall? No? It's like a shadow box that you can't really take the shadow out of. I don't know, I like it. I'm gonna get it. So I think this is meant to hang. It's three bucks. It's got this tassel on it and these two rings for hanging because it is open inside. I don't know, I'm torn. Someone's painted it already, or maybe that's the factory paint job, I can't tell. I don't know if it's nostalgia, but I love these little brass frames. Oh, that one's broken. I don't want to replace the glass on that, darn. Um, but I'm always looking for them when I'm out thrifting. Like this one is starting to peel off. This one isn't solid brass, but anytime I can find them, if they're in good shape, I'll grab them. That's fake copper. I use them at home a lot. I don't sell as many because I just like to keep them. Ooh, baseball, picking that up for Jack. Let's see if there's any more in here. I kind of want this shelf. I took a bunch of shelving like this. Oh, 30 bucks? No, they're only like 60 new. I guess that's still a good deal, but I wanted it for less. <laughs> I bought one similar to that for about 15 a few weeks ago. So I thought this was a shelf, but this is a divided tray. It's got a handle on each end. And it looks to be maple for $5. All right, I'm gonna have to do a paint -a palooza on frames again, but this one's four bucks. I like that little clock, $4. So my cart has a bunch of big stuff in it. Let's go see if we can find Jamie and see how she's doing. I see her little head peeking over right there. I'm gonna have to go see what she's looking at so intently. Oh, you do have some fun stuff. I'm like, what you looking at? Are you getting frames? Cause I just got a frame too. And I'm like, we're gonna have to have a frame of Palooza. Well, no, this is for me, but it's broken. So I'm thinking oh. it's the same size glass. Looks like it could be, yeah. Could this is an this. eight by 10. Cause then I could buy this, we could put canvas in it, but then I could put the glass in this. Cause I really, it's hard to find these, these vintage brass frames. So I got a giant mirror. It's only $15. 
I think you're gonna love it. I think I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna love it if I can get this glass out of here. Well, I'll just buy it. Well, are you sure it's the same size? Yeah. If not, we probably got something at home. This is an eight by 10. Oh, okay. Is this an eight by 10? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna buy both then. I got some Pyrex under the glass. That silver's already sold there. The Pyrex looks like it's been through the dishwasher a lot. All right, so I'm gonna put these back. They're not as special as I thought they were. This is not a lot of stuff. Okay, but we're your, going pine to two. your pineapple's good. We're going to two more stores. Yeah, that's huge, huh? And Zeb's gonna get me tacos at Jack in a Box, huh? Yes, I am. Breakfast of champions. So Zeb paid $15 for that giant mirror. It's foam, so it's not like super heavy, but it you is, are pretty strong. It is broken in a couple spots, but I can fix it. All right. It's it's kind of large and in charge, and we're not shipping it, <laughs> but it'll look great in the shop. That's larger than we thought. It's, <laughs> we had to put all the seats down in the car. It's just barely gonna fit. <laughs> so I'm gonna paint this up similar to that one in our uh, dining room. Oh, yeah, yeah, that like French country I'll finish. show it to you good at the end of the video if you don't know what I'm talking about, but you pretty much see it in all of the pans when we show you the stuff on the table. But I'm gonna do this up like that. That'll be cool. So here is the giant foam mirror that Jamie and I painted. It's probably been a year or so ago. I was like three years ago when we moved in. Three years ago. <laughs> it still has broken glass in there. It's fine. You can still see real good. But I'm gonna paint this up to kind of match. This does have some cracks and things. There's a reason I got it for $15. It's split down here but we're gonna paint it up and give it a new life. All right, that has taken up a lot of room. We need to go get a blanket or something at the next thrift store. Hopefully we find something. That way we can just lay it over that mirror so it's not getting scratched. The snow is starting to creep up the mountains. It's, you can see it there just kind of hanging out in the clouds. Probably at about 7,000 feet, you think? Yeah, it's probably okay. eight or nine-ish thousand where the clouds are. The that snow kinda, is probably about 7,000. That kind of gives you guys an idea of how tall these mountains are. Like we're at like 4,000-ish, 4, 4,500 feet here maybe in the valley. And then the snow line is at between seven and 8,000. And then you can see how much taller the mountains are than that. The mountains are huge. Yeah, we're, we're running out of snow days though. Like we're not gonna get too many more snow days. Goodwill is not quite open yet. So we're gonna go to the Deseret Industries thrift store first. This is kind of our usual usual routine. Yeah. It's almost 10 o'clock. We did stop and have Jack and Box tacos. So we're gonna go here first, then we'll go back to Goodwill. Also, before you give me a hard time about Jack in the Box tacos, they are not healthy. They are junk food, but they are delicious and they are the taste of my childhood. <laughs> and we haven't had Jack in the Boxes in Utah, well, at least Northern Utah in forever. So it is a huge treat. Um, and it's probably gonna be my favorite part about Monday next to thrifting with Zeb. We drive right by it, we gotta stop. It's the rules, I don't make them. The thrift store opened about an hour ago, so I'm not holding my breath, but I'm actually always pleasantly surprised. Last week, we scored here, like two giant carts full, so. Today, we'll I just want a blanket. That's all I need. <laughs> you just want a blanket because you want to take a nap. I got to cover that mirror up. Oh, got it. Okay. Not super old, but it is uh, Johnson Brothers England. And I didn't even know that when I picked it up. I just thought it was really cute. I'd love it if I could find more, but I think this might be the only one. Another little English treasure. This is Spode. I just really liked the handle and I flipped it over and saw where it came from. Two bucks. So I was like, good greenery. I found this for 75 cents. And then I think this was a couple bucks. So I'm gonna make a little thrift store marriage. I think it's cute, just needs to be dusted off. Well, that's a cool trunk out here in the yard. 15 bucks. Oh, someone's put that fake grass in there. I still don't hate it. $15. Look at the hinges on that. That's pretty, that's kind of unique there. Hey, and they work. Look, that thing's still there. Oh, this is kind of fun little tiny wall pocket. Is it a dollar or a dollar fifty? I wish this had the salt. It's like a hermetic jar that's a salt and pepper shaker, but I just have the pepper. I'm gonna pick it up just in case I find the salt somewhere else in the store. Spied some clocks across the way. Let's see if they're worth walking over for. 
Let's see, six dollars. That one's really cool. Oh, it's actually older, I think. So this one's speaking to me as well. It's five dollars. We've got this regulator clock. Doesn't look as old. But it's still like wind up. I don't wonder if it has its key. They never have their keys. How much is it? And do I need another clock like this? I think we've got $12. Uh, nope, I'm gonna pass. It's broken pretty bad up top there. But this one, Boondock Clocks. I feel like it might need a new face. That just looks like it's printed off which probably is three bucks yep looking in the uh wood section i love this i even don't even mind that it's a little bit chipped i think that's really cool kind of victorian old world moody two bucks it's not actually old but it's actually cute more bunnies look at this little cabbage bowl a dollar it's got a little chip right there but oh it's Oh, I thought it had a big bit. So it's just got a little chip. That's cute. I haven't bought a bell in a while. This one's only a dollar and it's crystal. So I'm going to grab it. It's really pretty. So we're going to have to have a frame of Palooza and a clock of Palooza. This is going to be a marathon Wednesday, I think, for Waste Not Wednesday. We'll just paint a bunch of stuff up. This is where I found all the actual silver last week. I don't, I'm not feeling as lucky. Nope. I'm needing something that's metal with a nice long handle so I can keep myself out of the fire. So I think this is silver with a glass serving dish inside. I'm gonna see how much they want for it. Someone's got that really shiny. Found this in the glass. It's a little dirty. I think it's just etched glass, but it's got like this cool rose pattern all around it. This is the same place we got all those little cups last week that we put the candles in. Someone must have had a huge collection of just tiny little cups and glasses because these are different styles than I got last week. All right, $3 each on these corbel shelves and their wood. Those are really cool. My cart's starting to fill up. This is missing the lid little sugar dish made in Japan, but with the succulent, I think that'd be so cute for a dollar. It's a good deal. I think this is really cool. Zeb loves castles. He loves anything with a crest. It's only 75 cents and we're starting to buy like some antique type stuff for Father's Day. So it's crystal and it's a clock. You can put pictures in it. I think for our purposes, we'll probably take out that cute little girl and put something Victorian looking, but I like it. it doesn't look like it's working. It probably takes a round battery, so we'll have to order one for it. All right, maybe this is the blanket. I think this afghan is pretty cool. We'll pull it out and see. Oh, it's nice and big. It's got kind of like a rose pattern on it. Found another crystal serving dish just down here, sitting on the shelf for three bucks. I think we have its friend that's a little larger than we found last week. I'm super excited. Four dollars wood base cloche. That's cute. Here's another little pot, $3. All the good stuff's on this bottom shelf here today. Oh, and it's old. I like that. All right, so it's not old because it says dishwasher safe, but it's still cute and I'm still gonna put IOD on it. Oh, look, more bowls. This is the same aisle I found lots of cute stuff last week. It has a chip, but for two bucks, I'm gonna grab it. 75 cents, I'm not gonna leave this bunny behind. I don't even think it needs to be painted. All right, this planner is great. The paint job is not, but for a dollar, I'll take it home and I'll fix it. Here's our Leonard silver plate fruit dish, $3. Normally when you find these, they're like, the, some of the spokes are broken, but this one's in pretty good condition. So I'm gonna grab it. So I found this whole bag of cookie cutters. I don't want the rest. It doesn't have a price on it. So I'm gonna have to ask him, but look, it's like a whole set of farm animal cookie cutters. We just brought out a cart and I found one really pretty candlestick. 
I don't know if it's silver or not, but I like it. So I just talked to the manager and he said he'd sell all of these to me for a dollar. I'm super excited. Those are cute. Oh, look what I missed. That's why you always got to bend down. Yeah. But I did, they brought out a couple more carts and I did pick up this divided tray with a bird on it. It's pretty cute. I didn't even look at the price, but oh, a dollar. I don't know who's pricing, but I'm happy about that. Headed into Goodwill, they opened about 43 minutes ago. So we spent almost an hour in that store. I know, I didn't think it was gonna be that long, but it was. Sometimes you just gotta spend the time if you're gonna spend the dime. Look, I rhymed. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go into Goodwill. It's fine because for whatever reason, this store has never really hit that hard. Is that an ornamental pair? That is a huge ornamental pair, that is correct. They got that big. We have five of those at the shop. Yeah, it's kind I don't know because it's not cone shaped, but anyways, we're going into Goodwills. I've got distracted by the tree. He always loves trees, wood, all those things. We got the little baby car for easy maneuverability. All right, see what you can find over there. Let's go to the dishes first. They actually usually have a bunch of glasses that I do like, but they price them so much more here. It's hard for me to justify. So I actually really like these. They're paper mache. They're $2.99 each, but I think if I painted the lid black, I would like it a lot better. So I'm gonna grab them both. And I did check, I pulled back the tape just to make sure that it wasn't gonna damage the paper mache. And it looks like it's gonna come off. Let's check the price tag. Always be careful, because they do not think when they price things where they should be tagging them. And sometimes you take the price off and there's damage. But that seems to be coming right off, so I'm just going to put it on the bottom. So I was all ready to get this clock, but it's plastic. They want $4 for it, and it's broken on the backer. So I'm going to pass on that one. What do we have here, though? Are these, they look like they're pottery. Oh, they're, did they hold like a tree or something? It looks like some sort of Christmas tree. $3.99. Let Jamie take an eyeball. I always let Jamie give me a second opinion on stuff when I don't necessarily love it. We'll see what she says. Not seeing anything I have to have, but I kind of like this bowl that's under the sealer, hand painted. And these are kind of cool, but someone let their uh, candle get out of control. It's like all misshapen. I wonder if it's soft enough if you could recoil that. Blankets and afghans. Let's see if they got anything today. We actually found three or four here last week. Looks like I may have cleaned them out though. Is this pieced? It is. Not hand done. It's done by a machine. So these are Dansk. Really cute, but not for $1.99 each. They were like five bucks for the set maybe, but that's a little overpriced. This is a really heavy silver dish. No markings on the bottom, but $3.99. I'm definitely gonna grab this because it's a good weight. So it's marked Wallace 601. I guess it's our day for silver. Here's a pair of vintage brass lamps. Um, they look like they're in good shape. $3.99 each. I'm definitely going to grab these. They're very cottagey. And I wonder how much these are because oh, they have something. Ah, shoot. I wish they, I think they were probably like a fountain. I'm going to pass. If they were regular, I'd probably grab those. A milk glass with a silver base. It has $1.99 and $2.99. If they'll sell it to me for $1.99, I'll grab it. One lone little rooster canister for $2.99. I'm going to grab that. That's really cute. All right, so how much did we spend at Goodwill? So only about, I think like 33 here. So all total, where are we at today? We're, about, we're right there in the 160 spot, which 100. is how much we spent at the bins last week. Yeah, so that actually leaves us with some money to spend at the bins. <gasps> hey, I didn't see this clock. $6, that looks like legit old. And I like the wood on it. Yeah, that one's cool. That one's way cool. All right, well, we're done for the day. We'll take it home and take everything out so you guys can see it.
Today we spent $160 at three thrift stores, including Goodwill and Deseret Industries. And I think when you see everything laid out, you're gonna see a theme. It's kind of high end and kind of cottage today. Yeah, it just goes to show like sometimes you hit the mother load and sometimes you have to go to three, four, five thrift stores. But we do that pretty much every week and it's fairly consistent. We always find some good stuff. Anytime we can find silver, crystal, uh, brass, spode, like that's a really great day. If you guys wanna see all of these items, they'll be online Saturday at 8.30 Mountain Time for our thrift haul. And I will drop the link to the collection below. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jane Marie Vintage for more. DIY. And thrifting. We'll see you guys on the next episode. I think to myself, and I'm thinking out loud. We won't need nothing else for the rest of our time. And I know it so well. I'll always be by your side Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free, oh my sweet baby Take all my wrongs and make